What the heck did I just stumble across? Greetings from Bangkok, Thailand. Today I'm at the Suvarnabhumi Airport and we are going on an adventure. I've been here way too long without taking one of these trips. Today we're flying out and I'll tell you where we're going in a second. And like a big dummy, I brought a multi-tool with me. I like to carry little tools when I'm traveling because I'm traveling with just a backpack. I completely forgot about security and they took it away. Bye little buddy. So after hitting 20,000 subscribers earlier this week, I decided it was finally time to take a longer trip out of Bangkok. And that's why we're heading to Koh Samui. The flight's about one hour and five minutes, and then the adventure begins. Definitely snug on leg room here. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting a meal on a one-hour flight, but we've got a chicken bun, mango sticky rice, water, and some soy milk. Well, I gotta say, this is the most resort-looking airport I've ever been to. Check this out. Quite impressive. This is actually the airport entrance. And there's the runway right behind us. So now that I'm here, my next goal is to get a bike. And there are no taxis here. Apparently, Koh Samui Airport does not allow taxis to park here. So my options were either to wait 20 minutes for a taxi to come here or walk about two kilometers to the road and then get a taxi there. I think I'm just going to walk. It's a lot easier and it's not that hot here. Oh, well, there was a taxi right at the airport, but they wanted 400 Thai baht. I walked right outside after a little negotiating 200 Thai baht for where I'm going, which is to the pier. I just not gonna haggle over 50, 60 Thai bot with somebody. So on to get the motorbike we go. Well, that was a nice little ride. Gave him a tip. These guys are working hard. There's not much going on. And I am now at the place where I'm going to rent my scooter. Read good things about this place, Jungle Wheels. So let's go inside and see what they got. Well, it looks like they are out for a delivery and we'll be back soon. So I'm gonna have to stick around and wait. But hey, look what's across the street. My friend 7-Eleven. <laughs> you know why we're here. And of course, I made no reservations. I didn't reserve a motorbike, didn't make any hotel reservations. We're just gonna figure it out on the fly. So now, while I'm waiting for the scooter place to open, have some water and just chill out. So the guys that run Jungle Wheels are phenomenal. I met the owner, Sebastian, they're super nice. I got a brand new Click 150i, and tomorrow I'm gonna come back and get the ADV. But check this thing out. So this is my ride for the day. It is a Click 150 scooter. And guys, I've been riding motorcycles for about 30 years, but it's been a while since I've ridden a scooter. So this should be really interesting because there's no gears to shift. <sighs> let's go get lost. All right, and now let's go get lost. I'm not sure which way I'm going. Got sunscreen in my eyes. The sound's probably gonna be really muffled, but Let's just roll and see what we can find. Let's get this show on the road. I have no idea where the heck I'm going. We're just cruising through Koh Samui. Nope, let's not go around on the left. Let's do this the right way. I think there's a beach on the other side here. Let's see if I'm right. You know, me getting lost is part of this whole adventure. There's some seriously nasty little holes, potholes on the road here. Holy smokes. Come on, baby, you can make it up this hill. Let's go. I think the ocean is that way, that way, that way. As I said before, I've been riding motorcycles for about 30 years. And honestly, riding in a t-shirt and shorts is not my preferred method as far as safety equipment goes. So I'm gonna to have to procure some real safety gear for when I do the longer motorbike trips. This is just a test. However long I stay here, test. Uh, left or right, uh, no. let's go left. I think I'm near Chowang Beach. Not really sure. Definitely seems very touristy. So maybe this is Chowang Beach. I have no idea. Well, it should be no surprise to you by now that I went the wrong way and I got lost, but what the heck did I just stumble across? Oh, I literally just pulled over and look what I just found across the street. I mean, I couldn't have found myself a better place to just stop randomly. Look at this place. Holy crap. I mean, literally guys, I got lost, went the wrong way, and I just ran across this really crazy bar. 
So, you know how much I love stuff like this. We gotta stop here and check this out. Look at this stuff that I found here at the Hot Rod Bar. Holy crap. I mean, seriously, guys, just leave it to me to accidentally run into some crazy automotive motorcycle slash bar place while getting lost. Wow, look at this place. There's so much cool stuff. I mean, they got tons of motorcycles here, Harleys, obviously, and such an American theme. I mean, just look at that couch over there. That is Americana, baby. You got Batman, Iron Man. This looks like a phenomenal place to come and chill. I mean, guys, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I know I've used that term before, but... I run across stuff like this randomly and I absolutely love it. This is what I love. I love getting lost and finding weird stuff like this. And of course, as always, I'll put the location of this bar and every other place in the description of the video below. So make sure you check them out. All right, guys, I met Hud here. He works this bar and this is his motorcycle and he's gonna start it up for us. So what kind of bike is this? Is it a, it's a Harley? Harley. It's not Harley. It's a Honda. Oh, it's a Honda. You're right. It's custom, a Honda. Custom. Honda V Twin. So Hud just told me that a friend of his built this bike, and that his boss bought it for him. Hey, Hud, can I work here? Yeah. I work here. Boss will buy me a motorcycle too. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. What a nice boss. I'm so happy that I got lost and stopped here at the Hot Rod Bar. Hud was a wonderful bartender. Great drink. Now I find a hotel, and we're gonna go check in. Bye, Hud. Cup and cop. And it's obviously safety 12th or 13th or however that works here in Thailand. Uh, I can't do this. I need both hands. <laughs> so the hotel is not that far. Uh, is this guy going to make a turn right in front of me? I, uh, what the heck was that? All right. So as I was saying before I became uh, road pizza, the hotel is uh, only about, uh, I think, uh, three or four kilometers uh, a little bit more than that, but it's right near Fisherman Village, and there is a night market, so it'll be perfect. I'm gonna go check in, drop off all my stuff, and then continue exploring. Uh, it looks like there's a night market here, not far from my hotel. I wonder if this is the Fisherman's Village night market. Man, that'll be so convenient if I actually got a hotel right next to it. But I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I'm gonna try to cruise through here without mowing anyone down. All right, that is not a shortcut. Oop, and this is a one-way street, but you know what? Who cares? Definitely doing a Thai thing and going the wrong way. Oh, look, there's a pupper sleeping here. Gotta love a hotel that's got a dog. I'm now being taken all the way to the back of property where I belong, away from all the other people. <laughs> well, I feel like I've walked all the way back to Bangkok. I've walked quite far through this place, but here we are. I think I uh, finally found my cabin here. So let's go take a look at it. All right, guys, we're gonna check this out together as always. Let's take a look. All right, take my shoes off. Oh, this looks nice. So we've got, looks like a double bed over here. I've got a king bed. And there's a TV, a refrigerator. It's a nice little cabin. Let's take a look at the bathroom facilities. I've got a shower, everything's clean, nice and clean. So this place is right on the beach here, right across from the beach. Breakfast is included uh, that will serve it on the beach. And I've got this nice little balcony here. So uh, this place came in at 1700 Thai baht, which is right around $46. I know it's not the cheapest of accommodations, but for my first night here in Koh Samui, I wanted to spend it in something really cool. And then after that, we'll find probably some more budget-friendly options. I almost forgot the all-important bed test. Oh, this thing feels really firm. Oh my god, it's like a rock. But I love firm beds, so super happy with that. Okay, I think it's time to uh, change and either go to the beach or go for another bike ride. So this property is a really beautiful large pool here at the front. And all the way in the back, there's a second pool. So there's two different pools oh, to yeah. choose from. But not only that, but literally the beach is right across the street. Let me show you. As you walk out of the pool to the front of the property, the beach is literally just across the street. I'm dying to go check it out. And the Smile House has its own restaurant. And there's a walkway all the way down to the beach. And this is where they're going to be serving breakfast tomorrow morning. Super excited for this. Look at this, guys. Just walk straight out to the beach. 
it's four o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday and there's literally nobody here on the beach. There's just a few people checking out the water and the water looks just amazing. I'm gonna go take one more ride on the motorbike around and then we'll come back and we'll have to check out this water. Well, that weather is not looking really good. It looks like it might start raining very soon, so I might have to cut this outing a little bit short. Yeah, this is not looking good. It's definitely gonna start raining here. I can actually feel a few drops. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel, grab a quick swim, hopefully a sunset beer, and then we'll go check out the night market. Well, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to go into the ocean and check out this water. Oh my God, it feels so good. Wow, it starts getting deep really quick here. Holy crap. Yeah, this is very different. I'm only like, uh, I don't know, 10 meters or 15 kilograms in. And look at this, I'm already up to my neck. Oh, this water feels so good. It's not quite as clear and blue as Wahine. And I'm stepping on seaweed or some kind of muck. But it's so nice just to get in uh, get into the water for a little bit here. Well, guys, I certainly called it. It's starting to rain. So time to get out of the ocean, go grab a sunset beer, and then to the night market. Well guys, we're not gonna get much of a sunset here tonight because the sun is actually setting on the other side of the island. I'll have to go do that another night here, but cheers to you. Uh, we're gonna go check out the night market and go from there. So guys, now we're here at the Fisherman's Village Night Market and there's lots of clothes, accessories, art crafts here, but I'm looking for street food. Okay, I've definitely found all the street food, exactly what I was looking for. So I think the watermelon smoothie is becoming as ubiquitous as the 7-Eleven water in my videos. So what I ended up getting was just some chicken skewers. I've got another chicken skewer here that has skin on it and also a vegetable samosa and what's left of my watermelon shake. And all of this food came out to be 80 Thai baht, which is just a little over $2. And I gotta tell you, it's delicious. Hope you've enjoyed day one of the Koh Samui tour. Day two is coming up. I'm gonna put up some other videos here that I think you'll enjoy. And guys, as I always say, please don't forget to take care of each other. Bye guys.